Great opportunity for us to meet new Titans defensive coordinator, Dean Pease. Coach, welcome. Well, thanks for, uh, it's great to be here. And everybody, everybody said, I thought he was retired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I've gotten a lot of that lately. It goes the shortest retirement in NFL history. So, hey, things happen. Um, opportunities come along sometimes when you don't necessarily expect them to come along. And there's certain things that you just say, you know what, I'm going to change the course and I'm going to uh, adapt and I'm going to take the uh, advantage of the opportunity that's given me. Why was this such a special opportunity for you and your family? Well, working for Mike Vrabel and, and also the Titans organization in Nashville, you know, as a city, I mean, all those things kind of tied into the uh, decision to, to come. Uh, th that being said, I also want to make sure that everybody knows that, that I loved Baltimore. Uh, I had great eight years there. John Harbaugh was fantastic to me. And he was also a former player of mine in college. So it's a unique situation when you're a coach and you get to then work for a guy that you coached. Now the same thing happened with Mike. Because uh, I really think that, uh, you know, if it was another club, that someplace else, that, that wasn't a, a big, as big a factor as the fact that it was Mike, it was the Titans, it was Tennessee, it was Nashville, it was all those things combined. And my family was just as excited as I was that uh, for this opportunity. All right, so everybody's wondering what your defense is going to look like here. And for those of us who don't know defense like you do, how would you describe what you're going to try to do with this Titans unit come the fall? Well, you know, Mike kind of hit on it a little bit. I, I happened to watch his press conference uh, when he uh, went in front of the media for the first time, and he talked about you know, on defense being a multiple front type defense with kind of consistency in the back end. Maybe, I mean, we have a fair amount of coverages and all those kinds of things, but we really are very multiple up front. Uh, we have a ton of pressures. Uh, so the, the biggest thing, I guess the best way I can answer to you is the fact that we, we also got to wait and we got to really see what our personnel is. And that's what we're really kind of studying right now. Cause I didn't really study Tennessee's defense like I did their offense cause we played them this year. But we got to look at our personnel and say, what's the best way that we can utilize that personnel? This is a player's league, not a coach's league. And it's all about the players and what they can do. And you want to put them as a coach, it's our job to put them in the best position we can possibly put them in to be successful. Talk to me about your defensive staff overall. It's an impressive unit. Oh, love these guys already. I mean, we, we've been together just for uh, um, just a, really about a week, week and a half here. And uh, I'm really excited because the other thing is, is that like uh, Kerry Combs from Ohio State in the secondary, I've known Kerry for thir almost 30 years when he was a high school coach in Ohio. And I started out as a high school coach in Ohio. Uh, and Terrell and Shane, you know, and, and Ty McKenzie played for me at New England. We drafted him. So there's so much familiarity there and along with Mike. It's just, I, I just really think we're going to have a real cohesive group. Finally, Dean, uh, life's funny as we get older. We experience different things with our kids and people that we knew before. Did you ever think when you were telling Mike Vrabel what to do years ago in New England <laughs> that he would someday be your boss? Well, there's a lot of times he told me what to do. So <laughs> maybe he, he was my boss actually before he was my boss. But I've always felt with Mike, I, Mike always kind of made it known to me when he was a player that he was someday going to be a coach. When, when he hung up the cleats, he was going to be a coach. Whether it's going to be at Ohio State at his alma mater, wherever it was going to be, he was going to be a coach. And you just knew he was going to be a great one because he was all those things that I just said that we ask a player to be. He was tough, he was smart, and he gave great effort. Well, he's the same way as a head coach. He was as a coordinator at Houston. He's going to be that way as a head coach. Did I ever dream that I'd be working for him? I, I don't really think that. But I had no doubt that he was going to be a head coach someday. Man, we're so lucky to have you here. Well, Dean Pease. Nice to be here. Joining us here at St. Thomas Sports Park, he is the Titans' new defensive coordinator.